Today we're going to build the Caribbean Floating Lounge. Step 1. Preparing the floating pontoons. Place the flange inserts into the floating pontoons. Use the Allen wrench and tighten by turning in a clockwise direction. It is important to note that the assembly for the back frame and seat frame and their associated crossbars have red dots that must be aligned on the same side. Step 2. Back frame assembly. From this view, make sure that the red dot is on the right side of the frame. Secure the set screw with the Phillips head screwdriver. Insert the aluminum rod into the pre-drilled holes on the ends of the back frame and push through into place. Before attaching to the top of the back frame, make sure you attach the side of the crossbar with the red dot to the side of the back frame with the red dot and that they are both aligned on the same side. Make sure the bolts are inserted through the back of the frame. Attach the curved crossbar to the frame. Step 3. Seat Frame Assembly The ends of the bent L-shaped seat frame should be facing up. Secure the set screw with the Phillips head screwdriver. Place the straight crossbar and make sure the red dots are aligned on the same side. Make sure the bolts are inserted from the back of the seat frame through the crossbar. Once both sides are loosely secured, go back and tighten the nuts. Attach the ends of the seat frame over the aluminum rod. Congratulations! Your fully assembled seat frame is complete. Before proceeding to the next steps, double check that all the red dots are on the same side. Step 4. Attaching the fabric lounge seat. Take the fabric lounge seat and notice that both ends have pockets labeled head and foot. Note that the foot pocket seam measures seven inches and the head pocket seam measures five inches. If the head and foot pockets are not labeled on your fabric lounge seat, fold the fabric over to see the head pocket seam measures five inches and the foot pocket seam measures seven inches. Place fabric under the crossbars and over the aluminum rod. Take the foot pocket and insert it over the end of the curved seat portion of the assembled frame. Lift back frame up with fabric to provide slack needed to insert end of frame into head pocket. Place head sleeve on frame. Lay frame back down and turn over so aluminum rod is facing up. Press down hard on the aluminum rod so the frame is inverted. Step 5. Connect assembled seat frame to pontoons. Place the pontoons on a workbench or table. This is an important step. Do not ignore this. The top and bottoms of the assembled seat frame must fall freely off the sides of the table to allow for proper alignment of the crossbars into the pontoons. Place the crossbars into the channels on the underside of the pontoons. Make sure all the red dots are on the same side. Make sure that the curved crossbar is placed in the rear grooves on the pontoons and the straight crossbar are placed in the front grooves. Insert bolts into the four holes on the outside of the crossbars. Do not tighten until all bolts are in place. This allows you to better align the bolts and adjust the alignment. Repeat this step on the four holes closest to the seat frame. Go back and tighten all bolts. Using a rubber mallet, tap the hubcaps into place on both ends of the aluminum rod. You are now ready to enjoy your Caribbean floating lounge. <laughs>